back for another movie review. The movie I went to go see is the new James Wan movie, which is Malignant. He is the Australian-born director that has brought us the Conjuring franchise. He's brought us the Saw movies, the Insidious movies, the Annabelle movies. He's brought basically everything scary, but yet he's very versatile because he's also brought us Aquaman and then Fast and Furious 7. So with that being said, he... Beginning or Act 1, we're introduced to these doctors at a Bellevue mental institution type thing trying to control a child named Gabriel because he's killing all of the staff. They agree upon giving him shock therapy and then that's the end of that. Then we're introduced into Madison and she has an abusive boyfriend who's doing like the Ike and Tina thing with her. He pushes her and next thing you know, it's all bad for him. So as we go into the middle part of it, which is act two, you notice that all of the doctors that were in part one are starting to come up dead. And who's at the scene? Madison. She's there. She's kind of not knowing how she got there. She kind of teleports there. James Wan kind of gives you like a psychedelic type of trip because it's almost like Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. You can't understand what's happening. You actually do meet two detectives and you don't know if they're serious or if they're joking because you kind of just don't know by the way they're acting. So it all ties in together when you get into the... And act three, you find out that she has a parasite living in the back of her head. It's like his body living there. He's taken her over and has had her go and kill these doctors. He also can control things with his mind with electricity because he was electrocuted in the beginning. Now, how do I feel about that? Mm, well, it kind of turns, in my opinion, it turns into a freak show. All right. Baby, welcome to the party. Pick some Give me lit. Give me lit. Not that type of freak show, but the other type of freak show. For two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar, we've got the show if you've got the dime. It's just starting. So hurry, hurry, look them over, the lady without a head. There are thin ones, there are fat ones, they're all inside. If you are into sci-fi, then you would like something like this. I am not into sci-fi, but I do think it was an original idea. I do think it was something that we haven't really seen before. All of his movies, it's kind of like a piece of all of his movies being rolled together to give you this movie. I would give it a five and a half because like I said, it is creative. It is something new and it does make you think. I thought it it's not cute like Stuck on You with Matt Damon, the Chris Farley movie. It's more like Aliens with the star Sigourney Weaver. Now, it's like ultimately disgusting and ridiculous, kind of both tied together. So that being said, I'll see you next time.